It's Sunday. Why are you yelling? My shirt's tucked. Yours is not. Yo. Fuck disrespectful. You. Yeah, look at you. This shirt's big as hell. It does need to be tucked. You lost a lot of weight. Nice stretchy jeans. Dude, you look like the guy from you right now. <laughs> that's, that's who I told Tony he looks like. Really? Tony looks like the guy from you. Did you meet Tony? No, I haven't met him yet. Oh, you didn't? No. I'm trying to like, I, I can't remember like who's met who at you this You keep point. trying to get me to link up and then I just like, no. When did I, did I, I tried to? Well, you were like, go to brunch and I was like. Yeah, well, he was there. He just happened to be in the fucking vicinity. Yeah. Tony's taking my spot. I'm pissed. He's a peasant. I made him clean up our plates after brunch. Did you? No. I, I wish I did that. now. That would be amazing. No. I try to, I test him every once in a while now. So like, see how much he'll do. Or just be sitting here. I'll be like, Tony, get my phone upstairs. He'll like, look at me. Like, he knows now. It's I'm, it's too deep into it that he's like, he won't, he doesn't respect me it's anymore. It's been like two weeks. What did you do to lose respect that fast? Because I'm just a fucking cunt. Yeah. You got to work on that. Like, if you're the leader, you have to still have a little, people have to f- not fear you a little, like, fear, but have something. They will if if I'm serious. I'm never serious about shit though. Get serious. Yeah, they'll know when I'm serious. When I'm serious, you fucking know. That's true. I think I'm past caring. Light me about up, dog. Who you are? If you were like someone important. What? Like if you were president of the United States, I would still treat you like a cunt. Like I would be like, "Hello, President Cunt." <laughs> <laughs> I, I would hate to be the president of the United States. Doesn't look like a fun job. There's so many jobs that I would hate to do. I top would like hate t- probably top three jobs you would hate that are actually. Jobs you could obtain. Well, president's not a job I could obtain. Exactly. That's what I said. Mailman. Okay. Well, are we talking about like physical labor as well? Yeah. I, I don't like physical labor whatsoever. Yeah. Like so you would labor, never be like a longshoreman. I would not be a long, anything out on sea done. Yeah. Same. I could I, be like a yacht party fucking host. I don't think I could. I would, I would need it. so much drummer me. I would hate it. You'd be like, oh, you're like fucking LeBron James's personal yacht host party. I'd be like, no. Really? I'm firing myself. Actually, LeBron James' yacht sounds awful. All right. Yeah, I know. I just was the first fucking athlete I picked off the top of my head. Like, someone that's fucking cool, someone that you'd want to hang out with, like Blake Griffin, you know? I don't know if he's kind of old now, I guess. I'm just... I'm just Are you riding, okay? I'm just riding off. <laughs> What's up? Yeah. Have you watched TV in the last <laughs> 10 years? <laughs> no, dude. Because if TJ's down here, I don't get to watch TV oh, anymore. Yeah. New roommate. This is the last time we'll be at the third HQ. This is the last time we'll... Third HQ. Well, the, your, your mom's house was first. Brooklyn. Brooklyn. Here. Yeah. Yeah. So most of this shit is packed up, kind of. I'm, I was, I'm actually shocked on how much you did. I'm very proud of you. I'm, wonder if, I'm wondering if TJ's going to just end up taking the bike down to our apartment right now and getting the keys. I think he's wanted to get the keys. And I don't know why they had to wait till last minute. Like our, our lease starts tomorrow, but they were like very strung up on like not giving us the keys before the lease. We're like, can can we get them a few days early so we can start moving shit in? They're like, oh, it's a liability concern. Yeah, I'm like, we're not sleeping there or anything. Like, we'll, well sign it's a because you're you're not. Yeah, I think they ha- you have to sign another contract for you to. Like, yeah, they're just annoying about it, but because it's, it's technically not yours. So say like you found something I don't know, or you'd like died. I wish it'd be fucking sick. It'd be easier. Yeah, I wouldn't have to. I wouldn't have to take shit off the walls, spackle, sand it. <sighs> I don't think you need a sand. No, no, I'm not. I'm not actually sanding shit. I, I mean, I sand it after I spackle it, mm. and then I put a coat of paint over it if it's like all fucked up because I have seventy seven thousand holes in the walls. Yeah, yeah, I was bad when I first. I was just fucking. I was like machine gunning through the, the hole. No stud was found. It was. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was. Yeah, it, it wasn't. It wasn't good when I got in here. I was just shooting. I was just like, I'll worry about this in a year, two years, three years. And I'm like, now I have to worry about it. So it's been a, a long fucking day. Doing this shit. But yeah, we move in. Uh, we get the lease starts tomorrow. My moving guy, I still have this lease for another week. So the moving guy's coming on Tuesday. So that's when I'll officially move in over there. And then uh, and then life starts. Yeah. Are you excited? I'm excited. Nervous? For sure. I'm, I'm definitely nervous. I'm nervous. Uh, you haven't had a roommate in a while. I haven't had a roommate in the last year, 13 months I had this place for. So yeah, I, I, I'm like trying to decide whether... I'm definitely excited to to have a roommate again because TJ is one of the most social fuckers I've ever been around, mm-hmm. which is great. But like, he's got no off switch, and I have an on and off switch with it. You know, yeah. like Monday through Thursday, I'm not like fucking around and like drinking and shit. And he like always wants to go out and like Friday, Saturday. You know, it's, it's just like he's a very normal like New York City twenty something year old person. I'm yeah. just like you know. I am that as well, but like as I get older, I'm 28 now. So as I get life older, life changed a little bit. Life changed a little bit. Like I don't have the energy yeah. to fucking 
put it out there and get fucked up on a Thursday night because I have shit to do Friday, Saturday, whatever. But now I, I understand there are going to be a lot more of those times where I just, you know, not get peer pressure because I'm good at not doing that. But like if, if I'm like 50, 50 on them, like, okay, cool. Like if we got a crew or something, I'm like, all right, I'm down to yeah. go out. Or if I want to meet somebody new or like whatever the fucking case may be, I'm more excited on the social front that I am nervous. Uh, I've gotten into like a routine here. The other thing too, like I don't, I don't like, I don't know why I'm like this, but I don't like filming when people are in the vicinity with me Yeah, for whatever reason. It's not like I'm like that uncomfortable. It's just like, it's like my own time. It's like where I can like open up and be like myself and like vulnerable and shit. And like when other people are there, not that he's like judging me or anything. I just get, I don't know if it's like closed off, but I just don't like doing it. So like, yeah. you know, it might be like a scheduled thing where now I have to work around when he like leaves the house or whatever. For your one videos, you should definitely, I think your desk needs to go to your room. I think that it's just see the problem with that is like the living room one I got the queen bed so I don't know how much room I actually have in the in the bedroom yeah two the living room is a f the full wall of brick and I'm like dude I can make a pretty cool background yeah with that so I want to do that rather than just having like a white wall in the background of my videos I don't know I'll, I'll bring it in there and see what the setup is like yeah. that's that's the thing I think you also got to be like a little now since you don't have a, you have a roommate TJ's literally I met him twice and he's the coolest kid I've ever met like he's just so mm -hmm. chill you gotta be like. Also, do you think he's gonna want you to be just filming when he's watching TV? And I know you said you're gonna have to, but there's gonna be times he is just you know have yeah. a whole day on the couch. It happens. And what are you gonna do? Just not film? So you're gonna yeah. I'm not, so I'm not I think sure. you're gonna have to think about that a little. Uh, I think it's a communication longer. thing too yeah. between me and him. I think I don't know. We'll move in and I'll feel out what the what the look is like and if it's really not that big of a deal if I have room in my room to set it up where I can fuck around with the background and stuff i also like i'm again i'm excited to have my room again like be a real room because i yeah. feel like even in brooklyn like i my room didn't have windows it was, it was awful it was, yeah it, and this room is Get a nice closet i had a great closet had great closets in here too great i actually, closet got great closets in yeah. the next one as well but now i have like two big windows i got a fire escape i can go out to like it's a real size bedroom and i'm like oh this is gonna be nice to be like a fucking human again for a little bit so i like don't know if i want to put my work and start putting up like dumb shit on the walls again so I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do. That's probably what's going to end up fucking happening. You know what I just realized? What? I'll never have a nice closet. Why? Oh, because like, hey, Heath? Yeah, dude. I just realized I never had a nice closet. It made me a little sad. It's one of those things now that I would be like, fuck. If I, if I went somewhere where I don't have a lot of closet, This place right here now has an unbelievable amount of I've never space. seen so many closets for one person. Yeah, it's a, and actually, like, I don't know if I needed it or I just made use of it this year yeah. because we had the closet space. But, yeah, once you have big closet space. Can't, can't go back. Can't go fucking bike on it, man. That's nuts. Yeah, and it's the, it's the last thing I ever notice when I'm looking around. If I'm looking at apartments and they're like, like a lot of closet space, I'm like, don't give a fuck. You know what I mean? I just, like, keep walking yeah. by. I just end up picking a place with good closet space. That's great. One time, uh, the first house my dad bought in Dover, we like, you know, painted it. We did all the work. And then we thought the first person that like came to go see the rental property in one of the units, we like showed them all around. And they're like, so does this place have any closets? We we're like, oh, uh. shit. <laughs> it had no closets. We we're like, what, what the fuck? And we didn't re didn't realize we had to start fucking making closets. That's wild. <laughs> uh, I just never. We, I, I'll never forget. It's just that. like things you just don't think of yeah. when you're you know you're just looking at a place. You're just like, oh it all looks good like the skeleton looks fine and then you're like what about all these little fucking things? But honestly, that it, I feel like this is the first apartment that's homey, you know. And I think that's a big thing that you. Uh, I don't you know need. if that's good or not. I think you need it. I mean, yeah. this this was always a weird setup. Don't get me wrong. I think there's a lot of pros to this place. Like you said, this place had a good community, had a rooftop. You had the concierge that would just use hand packages, and then it would you knew it was going to FedEx. Definitely a lot of pros in this spot, but... I miss this spot for sure. I don't think you could call it it was a home. No, probably not. I think it was only because the upstairs was, was so fucked. It was that table, bro. That table took up so much space. If we didn't have that table, we had like a normal size table. We could have put yeah. a, a couch in there or a secondary mm -hmm. desk along with my desk and shit. I said and, that. And made much more use of it, yeah. No one sounded listened, like, no one sounded like a fun project at the time. Yeah. And uh, dismembering it was equally terrible. Well. <laughs> and let me guess, both times snacks didn't help. Yeah, no, he wasn't here. Yeah, so Animal very fitting. <laughs> Animal came in, ripped it up with his fucking leg. He, he brought like this absurd looking like jigsaw type of thing giant knife yeah it looked like uh it looked like a um a machete that's like foldable that's not what he used he was like i brought this as backup in case my like electric one stops working so he ended up sawing through it pretty well it was done in like a half hour threw it out and now uh and now we have to figure out what we're doing for the next table it's funny i was in emerson driving to hackensack to drop off my taxes and animals behind me the whole time and didn't fucking notice. And I didn't text him or anything. But I, I like waved at him like four times. Didn't fucking notice. Just fucking He didn't notice? No, he uh, didn't notice. And him just chaining cigs. <laughs> and I'm like, dude, animals 
back. <laughs> oh, he's back. Yeah, and I was just like, dude, how, like I'm like this, like, like, hey, man. But vacation was fun. I had a, I had a good time. Went to St. Thomas. It was really weird. Um, what? I was nervous going there because this first flight, um, out, and I didn't know like with COVID and everything. But everyone needed a negative test, full flight. And when you, when we landed, it was like it looked like we we're going into like an apocalypse, like. There was like hazmat suits, like scanning you, making really? sure all your documentation was correct and shit. But once you leave the airport, it's totally normal. Do you need a COVID test before you travel? Yeah, I need a, Yeah, no, not for um, not for state to state. Right. It's a you. It, it'll tell you, so you're yeah, you're I think good. We're good. Yeah, but it was it was nuts. It was I I was definitely nervous, but um, we had a great time, man. It was I needed it. I was thinking I haven't fucking seen a beach since Mexico. What did you do there? Like, was it just straight relax on the beach for like six days straight? So like Sunday we didn't do shit, and then Monday uh. We actually took a ferry to the other island to go. You guys went snorkeling and shit, didn't you? Hell yeah. She made you. I, I did it, actually. I thought you weren't about those activities. I, I wasn't. But you know what? It was for her. Like, you know, like once you have a partner, you just know that she wants to do something. So it was between that and the Sunset Cruise. And I was like. Snorkeling and Sunset Cruise? Uh, di- Like either or. Yeah, I'm saying you had yeah. to choose between those two? Yeah. And you went snorkel? So. if It was like a, it was a resort, but they had like a timeshare. So if you did like one of those timeshare meetings. The Sunset Crew was half half off. So I was like, fuck yeah, I'll do that. It'll be 90 bucks instead of 180 But then there was no extra, there was no, like, room. So I would have to pay 180 for the, just a Sunset Cruise. Wait, what? The resort was like a timeshare. They had timeshare presentations. Uh-huh. So if you did the presentation, they would cut the deal in half for the uh, Sunset Cruise. And they didn't have room in the presentation? Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. Okay. So then we went to, like... So you're just like, I thought you were just like, yo, the Sunset Cruise, like... Since you're in the resort, they're giving you half off, but then they told you that they just don't have room in the cruise. Oh, like, <laughs> yeah. So you got to pay full, yeah. and then they have room. I was like, what? Yeah. So then I had to go Great to, like, business plan. like, a little hut. Like, you know, Paul Rudd and Figueroa Sarah Marshall. Yeah, yeah. Like, there's some pain behind those eyes. Yeah, yeah. I went to, like, a hut like that with this chick, and uh, she was like, yeah, we got snorkeling for 130, or we got the Sunset Cruise for 180. Like, and I was just like, I'd rather go fucking snorkeling, I think. At the time, I probably would have... Like in my mind, I would have been like, oh, Sunset Cruise. But I feel like those things like just like tire you out. You're like there and you're just like, oh, you know, Sunset Cruise is cool. but And it was only two hours. And uh, snorkeling was six hours. What? Yeah. Fuck that. But it's six hours? Dude. No, well, six hours all together with three hours snorkeling. Would yeah. you guys like go to a different island? Like hang Three different there? islands. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. But, um, yeah, I would have fucking offed myself. I'm out. I never did snorkeling. And like you, I, I put the flippers on. Put the life jacket on. They're like, you're supposed to blow in it or don't if you're a big man. I'm like, I'm a big man. And I'm like, so like, we'll call this big man yeah, yeah, I'm like, I'm a big man. He looked at me when he said it. And then, um, I jumped in. And then Heather's like a fucking fish. She's done this before. She had white boyfriends. They do this on a fucking vacation. She's fucking holding her vest and just flapping with her well, legs. She became a mermaid. Like real she was out. Quick. And then I'm, I, I'm like, I can't breathe. I can't fucking breathe. And Dude, it, these water activities are intense. Right? I, I started freaking out. I started freaking out. One of those, but like she was by, like, and they said like, "Don't scream for help." I was about if to say not- you <laughs> became the guy who like everyone thinks the shark is gonna come. Yeah, and yeah. Like, I can't fucking breathe. Yeah. And like, <laughs> like you're getting yeah, circled around. They're just like, "Don't scream help if you're not really drowning." Like, don't wave your hands if you're not drowning. I'm like, okay, I'm not drowning, but I'm really fucking close, and I don't know what to do because he told me not to, and Heather's fucking gone, and I was just like, "See if you got this." And, and like internally, I was like fucking dying. Like chugging salt water, well, like been, gulping salt you've water. You've been scuba diving. When didn't we go scuba diving in Mexico? That's what I told Heather. No, it was snorkeling, right? It was snork. Uh, no, dude, I feel like we were underwater. Did George not go? I feel like he did. He's like, I'm not. We doing did this some shit. shit. Uh, it was like for I ten feel minutes. Like it was, so. I feel like it was scuba diving. I don't think it was scuba diving because we didn't have any oxygen. They did not put an oxygen tank on us. Yeah, when you put it that way. Yeah, right? like that's ridiculous. When you put it that way, 100%. we're on a booze cruise. Yeah, you're right. You're right. <laughs> they did not. You would have been like, "Can you fill that up with vodka?" Yeah, yeah, no, hundred percent snorkeling. But there, yeah, there you go. You did. But that shit was like eat like uh, you're in the middle of the fucking ocean. Dude, they just like dropped you off. I don't know. I I, I guess I forgot, and yeah. I totally. Either way, those mode, things are tough. But I like took a second, and I was like, I, "Steve, you you you've been here before." Well, it's like it's like it's like. You have to breathe so hard just to breathe normal. But I also feel like people with asthma have the upper hand. I don't because they're like they're like they're I've right. had an asthma since like fourth grade. I didn't mean like you. I was uh, just like talking about in general. Yeah. Um, I feel like people who have like learned to breathe real fucking heavy are like good at that shit. Yeah, I guess. I but know. it was it was, and then I didn't know I was just looking straight the whole time. And then Do you see anything cool? I saw fish and coral. 
for three fucking hours. Yeah, <laughs> I, I was that. drinking. I was sipping on the, the okay. volatility. On the ocean? They got painkillers, man. It's called, that's what the drink's called. Uh, yeah. Heather was like, I brought us painkillers. I was like, oh, you know me so well. <laughs> Don't, say then she brought, Don't say it unless you mean it. <laughs> she brought this drink. I'm like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> <laughs> and then she had to explain to me that I had to explain to my addictions. It was really, you know, excuse me. Jesus time. Yeah. But um, painkillers, really good. It's coconut. Is it blue? No. Coconut, like, froth, rum, nutmeg. Pineapple juice, OJ. Is it nutmeg? It's a. Oh, never mind. Yeah. It's like cinnamon. I was thinking of like, uh, what's that shit that everyone drinks during Christmas time? Eggnog. Yeah. They, they put cinnamon. Not sure why. Oh. I was thinking about eggnog. I was like, it, it looks like eggnog. Yeah. But it's delicious. So I think that might be the drink for the summer. But uh, it's a good vacation. And then, uh, we, but other than the snorkeling thing, it was straight going out to eat, beach, pool. That's, That's amazing. It. So I, dude, totally got me back balanced into work and. I needed it. I haven't had a vacation, I feel like, in forever. Like a vacation, not like go see my family. Like a yeah. fucking no problem. No one hit me up at work. They knew. Like it was Beautiful. great. Um, came back, started the fucking cleanse. How long you been on it? Two days now? It's my third day. Third day. Um, Wednesday you started it? Yeah, dude. I'm shitting my brains, dude. Yeah? And you know I shit a lot already. Like, <laughs> But these are ones I like, can't hold. Like okay, I have like so what three it? minutes. It's 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 breakfast is a, a shake. shake. Lunch is a shake. shake. And then you have like... Picture a plate. They said half of it has to be greens, one eighth grain, and and you're making your own shit, or they send you the dinner. No, stuff? I make my shit. You make your own. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. Okay, so then, they're just giving you like a blueprint for what the cleanses. Yeah, but the shakes are the shakes are theirs. Yeah, yeah. And then I take like this like probiotic shot in the morning, and then I have this detox tea at night. Don't eat anything after eight. I was really hungry last night. Yeah, and then for snacks, I can have like a hard boiled egg. Jesus Christ! I'm just gonna smell. How are you feeling about it so far? Um. Other than like the sh- like the uncontrol like uncontrollable shit, I mean like I could poop my pants. Like I'm real. That's the only thing I'm nervous about. Like my commutes <laughs> and like being helping a customer and pooping my pants. Once I think it's getting that, real liquidy down there. Yeah, it's not. It's it's green. It's green. But uh, once I think that subsides, it's um, it should be good. I'm Your really, body will get used to it. I'm really days. trying to get after it. Like, th- dude, thirty days, man. I'm just. I was thinking, man. I'm 29. I've literally treated my body as a trash bag for. A decade, well over a decade, and how can I not be in shape in my twenties? Once, that's a good mindset. So I was like, I gotta fucking do it. I got no other fucking choice. So, thirty days by May. Four, four episodes later, you're about to see a new Steve. Yeah, dude, it's May twenty first. If I'm not one eighty five, what are you right now? Two fifteen, sir. That wouldn't even be healthy, I don't think. I don't think it's healthy, but like everyone but loses like 30 pounds if they do two shakes. All the, <laughs> all the stories you hear. Yeah, all the stories I heard. If you do two shakes and eat just dinner and two eggs. Eat a hard boiled egg. Yeah, you're just fucking in it. So all right. I just wanted, a, like I said, a reset. I'm not, I know if I, once I finish eating this and I eat shitty, I'm just going to gain it back. But I'm really trying to do a reset that's supposed to help my gut, like cleansiness and shit. So once it's all said and done, I'm really trying to get after it. So I'll go all back right. to the gym, try to get. Like I said, I, th- I feel like my bo- my mind is as best as it's ever been. My, st- I guess a soul is right there. I just want my body reflected. You know, I'm still like self-conscious of about it here and there. And, you know, even on this vacation, I totally let my belly out. I never really done that. Like the shit was, my, my stomach's tan. Mm. Like I let that shit just rub out. I don't even care. It's not burnt like your face. It's burnt. Yeah. It's real burnt. But like, I, you I don't know. Think I've ever seen you burnt, actually. It's. I think because I, I I always have a T-shirt on the beach, man. I'm 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 self-conscious. Well, like face though, face wise. Yeah, I don't know what happened. I think it's because I haven't been in the sun for a month, like did a put, year. Do you half. ever put sunscreen on? Yeah, I did. You did? I did. Wow. This shit was fucking me up. But uh, you know, I'm ready to fucking try this, man. I'm, I'm like I told uh, George, this was cheaper than buying a whole new wardrobe. So that's fair. That's, that's what a good I'm way doing. to look at it. Yeah. So not, a lot of shirts are tight right now. But then you're gonna have to buy a new wardrobe if you drop down to 185. Well, I. I think unhealthy. He's gonna be wearing big man clothes. I think unhealthy one eighty five, and then knowing that I'll go back to the gym and eat how I eat, I'll, I'll go back to like one ninety and just like one ninety five, and I'll be large. That's fair. Like that I ain't trying to get medium, dude. I never want to be a medium boy. You just want to be real skinny or large, or you mean you only want to stay above medium? I just stay above medium. Mm-hmm. You know who I want to be like? I want to look like fucking that guy from Power. He's beast, dude. That he's probably like an XL, low key. He's huge. Nah, he's like five four. Yeah, probably. Yeah, he's like one of those dudes that's like too good looking, and he's like, you're yeah. like, you know, he's short or yeah. some shit. Hairline receding. He's got to have some four. kind of flaw. You talking about the main character? Yeah, 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 yeah. He's beast. I got, I got a little vacation coming up. I don't know if I've actually, 
uh, like announce this at all. I probably will I, on the video tomorrow. Uh, you said it on Twitter. On the video, yeah. Well, yeah, but I didn't like say what the fuck was happening, really. Yeah, you just said, LMA, I'm going, going to, to my, the NFL. We're going to Miami, Miami for the NFL, NFL draft. draft. Yeah, well, here's the thing. Like, Good shit. When you, like, you sent me, like, an email, you, then you sent me an email text, and then you sent me a text, all of the Airbnb. And I'm just like, what no, the I f- just dropped the, no, what I did was I just copied the Google Drive link. I don't know why. I got it, like, four different times, uh, and what, I was like, what is happening? It must have shared with you the Google Drive yeah. in your but I was email. But like, I was, like, dying, because I was like, what is this? And then Yeah, like, bro, like, fucking, okay, so... We have the, regardless of where we were, what we were going to do for the draft, the Monday following the NFL draft for, for underdog, we have like these big plans where we're going to be streaming all day and bringing people on and stuff or whatever. And, uh, originally what we wanted to do was, sorry, give me one second. DJ crash the e-bike. And then Tony just texted me actually. No, he just texted me to a, something fucking so stupid. I just tried buying a homeless guy food and he started roasting me. It was like the YouTube comments came to life. <laughs> Yeah, so we got on a call. They were like, yeah, let's try to like organize some shit. And originally the plan was, I thought I had convinced them to be like, yeah, we're going to do a weekend in New York at an Airbnb. We could live yeah. stream the draft. We could live stream from a studio. And we get on the call. It's me um, and some of the content creators that they signed to be with them. It's me, yeah. it's Kid Jack Settleman, Peter Overzet, Josh Norris. Pretty big then, in a community. Yeah, relatively big. And uh, and then three or four of the people from Underdog that we've been working with. Um and they're like, yeah, so the owner, whatever, Jeremy, is uh, going to be in Miami for the next month. He's like, we're going to be doing the draft stream from Miami. And I was like, oh, shit. Uh, they're flying us down to Miami. Like, how's this going to work? Are we yeah. are we all going there? Like, what's, you know, what's good? And they're like, yep, that Monday's going to be in Miami. So, like, obviously, you guys aren't required to come, but, like, we'll fly you down here if you want to do it. And I'm immediately like, fuck yeah, of yeah. course I'm going to go. No plans. And, uh, and then on a call, they were like, if you guys, I know you guys had planned to do the NFL draft stream either like from your apartment or wherever we were going to do the Airbnb. If you want to come down to the Airbnb that Jeremy has and stream from there, y'all can do that. And I was like, cool. At first I was like, I don't, I'm not sure, you know what yeah. I want to do. But then I was like, dude, I'm not about to miss out on a network opportunity like this. Like the dude, dude Jeremy's like someone that I've looked up to for a while. Yeah. You know, he's been one of the sharper minds like in the industry I really, really admire what he does. Is it a free retreat? A free retreat. I'm like, dude, I'm about to be able to like hang out with him for like a week straight. Just in like, he went from someone I knew via Twitter to like someone who's Airbnb. I'm about to stay in for a week, you know? Yes, that's ridiculous. Yeah. So I'm like, okay, fuck this. Like we need to do the NFL draft stream, but like I also need to not go fly down on like Sunday, you know? Yeah, I yeah, want to yeah, fly yeah. down on like Thursday, do the NFL draft there correctly and, uh, and hang out there. So I was like, okay, I'm going to need to bring someone or some people from my crew for us to stream together you know like i can't do that by myself of Mm -hmm. course so like i'll take one from the ftp side i'll take one from the bunk bed side um i had never met Noah, obviously yeah that's so funny yeah i've never met met him fucking miami yeah and he's like i've obviously been working with him for like forever now so he obviously earned the 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 role to come and then uh on the ftp side snacks just got back from florida he's starting his new job this week so it's like he couldn't really run it anyway so it was like easy decision for me thankfully um, and then I was like, okay, so we got the two, but I also want someone who's going to like capture the whole weekend for us, you yeah. know, capture the whole week and make like a sick ass vlog or just like put up content throughout the weekend while we're focused on what we need to be doing best and making content. Like, obviously I thought of Scott and I was like, he's not going to be able to come cause he's got yeah. his family and shit. So he's, he, you know, I asked him, he's not, I was like, okay, uh, intern Tony, I guess, uh, I guess you right place, fucking right time. You're dude. in New York city for one month. You willed your way into my life and now you're coming to fucking Miami for free. You cunt dude. That's. He is wild. Never met him yet, but like every week, you tell me something else about him that he's just he is demanding a spot. He actually, yeah, he just texted me and asked if I was home. Listen, he's just like he he uh, he showed up and we originally like got coffee and I was like, okay, cool kid, whatever. I think I invited him to whatever the next thing was, and he was cool. And now he's met like basically everyone in my fucking life. Like he's met my sister, he's met TJ, he's met London, he's met so nobody important. Nobody important. I don't okay. care about anybody actually. So he's met my mom. Hasn't met you. So like I said, nobody. He met your mom. He did. My mom happened to be like, I am the fucking <laughs> pissed. Yeah. So he's yeah. He's a really cool kid. Uh, and I was like, okay, like he, that. That's like my most important qualification. Like you could yeah. do your job editing, but also hang with us because if we're gonna be using you to like capture our life, yeah, you, you don't need want, to understand yeah. it. Yeah, you know? yeah, no, for sure. And I think that's so important. And it seems like he's. I mean, he seemed a little crazy, but everyone's a little crazy. So, I mean, he yeah. he, he came in here. He's demanding it. He's and not he's, someone I feel uncomfortable bringing around. That's awesome. People, so, 
So yeah, he's willed his way in, and now, uh, now the fucking now the big dogs are going down to fucking Miami. Bro. That's amazing, man. I'm so fucking. And jealous. the Airbnb is just out of control. Yeah, I'm jealous. Um, I wish you never sent me the pictures. I wish I didn't either. I sent them to like everyone I knew immediately. I was yeah. like, bro, I, like, <laughs> I was like, look at this fucking place. It looks like a place that like they're like, yeah. oh, LeBron James just bought his second house in Miami yeah, on, yeah, on the yeah. coast. And it's like that's the fucking that's house the house. Staying. Yeah. Uh huh. Um, yeah. So we're gonna be staying there. At first, I was like, it's just too many people. Like, am I gonna have to get them in a hotel or something? They're like, no, there's like a room with like three beds. If one of you guys wants to like share a bed, I'm like, oh, fucking, Dude, we'll share yeah, a bathroom. You will share one. Yeah, you can full put me bed. in the fucking yeah. a floaty in the pool or some <laughs> bullshit. I am. I'm. I'm. I'm not nervous about. I'm. I'm nervous that like we need to be on a fucking a game. You got to produce. We got to produce. Yeah. I want to make sure we go above and beyond too. Like we're making content for them, but we're not falling off what we're doing. Mm-hmm. So like I'm gonna need to have a meeting with these three beforehand. Let them yeah. know like we're going in there to play in the fucking big leagues. I want content schedule. Same as it always was. Be prepped. Be ready. Have your fucking thumbnails ready. Have your clickbait titles ready. Like, I don't want you thinking about bullshit while we're there. I just want you to be able to sit down and produce, you know? Dude, that's amazing. You I guys, want them to understand we're the real fucking deal. Yeah, no, for sure. You want to come out there, and this is why they paid you what they paid you. So, exactly. I mean, that makes exactly. I wish you had more merch. I wish you could bring more. like More merch? Yeah. Uh, I mean, we'll probably be wearing their merch all weekend. Yeah. To be honest with you. Yeah. yeah, that's true. So, yeah, now, I, now I'm, like, just thinking of, like... For the draft stream, I want to make sure the production's right. I want to make sure we got good, like, giveaways and and things that will will drive people to underdog, you know, throughout the draft. And I want to make sure that, like, people in the house are cool, like, jumping in with the with the stream we want to organize it we want to have people from twitter or whatever jumping in to talk about their favorite team's picks and shit like that so it's a lot of organization that's going to go into it so i'd imagine like you know it's going to be fun i'm sure jeremy's already talking about like yeah we're going to get in a yacht for like sunday Damn. i'm like bro like we're just going to need to be it's going to be like i don't i don't imagine we're gonna have a lot of leisure time no nah, it's dude. either work or play 24 7 just wake up and do whatever it's just told yeah yeah, exactly. It's gonna it's gonna be like work for six hours. Okay, like have your fucking party clothes on because we're right, going right your out. Your laptop yeah. closes, the bar opens. Like, that's and that's the thing, be. though, man. That, like we were just talking this off camera. Like your life's kind of we're getting back to normal a little bit, and I think we kind of forgot we did play hard, and you got to get back into that. And it's gonna be some nights where you <laughs> have four hours of sleep, and yeah. you got to produce exactly if you were in ten hours of sleep. So yeah, what's um, your what are you gonna do to get like get that ready? I, uh, I actually think being in the new place is going to be good. Like you said, being in a more homey environment. You know what it is? Because like when I sleep shitty here or if I'm like, I can't relax, it's like this is not a place that relaxes you. You know what yeah. I mean? So I think like being in an environment that's better for me that way. Um, hopefully, I don't know if what I'm saying is even fucking true or not, but yeah. I, I do feel like it'll it'll be a little bit more relaxing. Um, I mean, this is what I asked for though. Like I want this shit to be a little bit hectic. I want it to yeah. be fast paced, you know? And I'm, I'm, I, I think I'm ready for it. I think that's awesome, man. I think it's going to be a great opportunity. And so Miami happens still you said you have no return flight so you don't even know I that did not book return flights for anyone I don't think they know that either but we're kind of like playing it by ear because we have yeah. the draft stream Thursday Friday Saturday mm-hmm. boat Sunday maybe the big stream Monday and then that ends at like midnight so yeah. not sure what we're doing Monday night if we're just gonna hang out at the house but I think most people probably will be flying back Tuesday Jeremy was like I got the house for a month you know, yeah. and I'm probably even if I stay, I'll send the other dudes back. Yeah. Tuesday. I'll see how it is. Like I said, if they have a good setup there where I can continue to make content and I can continue to work there, like focused for most of the time. And I'll see what their life is like while they're there. If they're going out like raging every fucking night, I probably mm-hmm. won't stay just because I can't really like, handle that right now. I'm not in that like mode. But if it's like really relaxing, you know, it's just like beach by yeah. day, work I'm, by night. I'm sure he he he's a workhorse. So yeah. I'm sure he's, he's he, also probably got like fifty mil in the bank. So like he might just be like Yeah. He might just be like, Oh, I'm going to Miami for a month to like fuck around. That's true. I mean, yeah. but honestly he just he's building a platform that's about to start. So I think he's also like What what I also like now I'm just starting to think of it right now, but like I'm I'm thinking of funny ideas that I want to do for underdog, like the dude Peter Overzet who's like hilarious. I'm mm-hmm. like, uh yeah, like me and him are going to go rip some like beach interviews, you know, we're going to yeah, go out, yeah. like, interview people in the public and shit. What I want to prob I want to try to convince Jeremy by the end of the weekend that like we're so good at creating content that like he should make a studio for us. Like in the city. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, well, that's their so so Underdog is like based out of Brooklyn. Okay. They just don't have when they were draft they were based out of Brooklyn. They had their office in Brooklyn first, and then they moved into the FanDuel office. And then when shit closed down, they opened back up. They opened up remotely because they opened up yeah. last summer, and they're like, we don't have a physical shop yet. But their plan, long term, when things do open back up, is to make a physical location in Brooklyn. So I'm like, yo, if you guys just make a studio in there or something, like mm-hmm. the content creators will come through if you exactly. ha- if you have it there, you know. And I want him to see like 
the shit that we could produce while we're there yeah, yeah, if we're yeah. all in the same vicinity together. Like you said, man, that's what you, that, I mean, that was always your game plan, kind of having like a social network in one spot. And if they, someone could just produce that for now. You know what I mean? Because yeah. even, even as big and successful as he is, I don't think there's been a lot of like people that have been around a group of, of like people that make shit, like yeah. content in particular and like yeah. can see what they, well, it, it's like good for us, but also could be good for him. You know what I mean? Like I think content has obviously there's blown like the up. tiktok houses and shit yeah but like yeah i mean they've blown up like i think so much during covid like so and like it's all been remote now like bring them back in like bring everybody together like yeah this is so this weekend's gonna be i want to say make or break but it has a very high potential i like, don't think it's break but it's just like like you said you have to go in there and fucking show yeah. like this is why you want me and next year you know this is a one-year contract how the fuck are you you're yeah. gonna want to keep me yeah. so I think that's a huge opportunity. Like, you know, not a lot of people get to be with the fucking owner. Yeah. So, and I don't think a lot of people could say that. You know, I met the CEO once and I like yeah. shit my pants, you know? So <laughs> like, I, I mean, I made a good impression. Did he remember me? No, it was fucking 10 minutes. But like, you're spending some time with him. You might stay a little longer. Like, so, I mean, like we've done these weekend kind of trips before where like you, there's, you're, there's like a, yeah. there's no, 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 I know yeah. what you're going to say. Like I'm, it very well m might be like that. Like, yeah, yeah. The way yeah, that yeah. we fucking go after it. But you're prepared a little bit on that. I'm like, prepared. Had, yeah, sure. I'll, I'll be fine. I'm just saying like, saying you, you like create a bond with people in those weekends. Oh, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like oh, these yeah. dudes that we're going down with are probably going to be like my fucking homies after this. You yeah. know what I mean? Like some of the content guys. Um, and I told you, I got to meet Jack, mm -hmm. uh, Jack Settleman. Cause he was, he was on the call and he was like, we had, talked to like a month or so ago that he said he was moving back into the city uh recently and then he did and after the call i was like yo let's like link up or whatever I was like, let's grab some coffee or margaritas he was yeah. like margs we went down fucking ripped like four or five margs in a awesome. row rode the e-bike bike and uh and yeah dude he's a cool kid uh pete's gonna be fucking awesome uh, i don't really know much about the other dude josh yeah he seems like he will probably be a little bit more serious than us, like a, the father of the group. Hey, you never know. We need, hey, little, every, we need a little bit legitimacy. Yeah, us, every, every crew needs a watcher. So Yeah, he's coming Sunday, though, so he's probably going to miss like the debacle of Thursday, yeah. Friday, Saturday, which might, I don't know. I mean, that's awesome, man. You you also haven't been anywhere, and I know this is not a vacation, but this is a kind of like a, a stimulating your mind vacation and something you're going to need. It's going it's, it, to, it's just a jumpstart. It's a weird group. Like, this is our first real, like, work vacation, you know? Yeah. This is, like, kind of crazy. This is, yeah. this is wild. This is, like, I'm what excited. we wanted, was yeah. what, what we've been, like, looking forward to. So it's exciting to see. I'm fucking pissed that I can't be there and because I don't, A, do anything. B, like, I oh. just came back from vacation. Yeah, I could have, like, brought you as, like, the cameraman. Oh, dude, I, I, I mean, there. if I was off, I would, like, there would yeah. be no fucking question about yeah. it. Like, I mean, I'm I wouldn't have a choice. I'm off on Monday. I might just fly down Sunday. Fucking who knows? I mean, the, the studio on Monday, I, I don't think I've seen it, but I know it was 10,000 square feet. Like, Damn. It's pretty big. That's huge. It's monstrous. That's 10 of my apartments. Really just put them in a line. That's literally my apartment complex. There's 10 units on top. Really? Yeah. Jeez. There's two restaurants below, so that means. Yeah. It's going to yeah. be a crazy, crazy That's awesome, time. man. I'm so happy for you. That yeah. this is all and I want to put together a vlog for them of that because that's like their big day. Yeah, I'm like, yeah. yo, I want to make sure we capture this like not yeah. just like a, from a big dog angle but like from every angle and like give that to them as content. I want to make sure that we got shit ripping for them. You know, I want to go above and beyond and be like, yeah, you know, man. Like, we're like here I got my own team and this is what we're doing. This yeah. is what I'm bringing to the table. So that's awesome. Who's going to edit that, Tony? Or are you going to put that to Scott? I'm not sure. I'm going to have Tony capture as much. He might do like the vlog for me and then he might capture Monday, and then I might push that off to Scott and have yeah. him do it. Yeah, well, that's that's kind of to be determined. But these are all things that we need to plan out like now accordingly, yeah. so that we know what we're doing. Not trying to be off topic on that, but I saw I saw the the vlog and saw you, you sp spoke to Scott. Yeah. I think that was a great conversation. And everything. So how did that go? And then I saw you. You, you fired Ike, so I don't know. Uh, fired Ike, yeah, he's done. Yeah, so yeah. How, how did... No, um... Because I was like, are you just li leaving that like that? Like, no, no. So <laughs> like, I have the whole call recorded on my video, on my, yeah. uh, on my computer, obviously. Uh, so so with Scott, I was just trying to figure out, you know, what we wanted to do, and, and I think we came to the conclusion that he's going to be more of, like, a manager than an actual editor. And basically what we were doing, right after that call, I talked to Ike, um, told him, you know, we were going to pay him and making sure that he could take the work that we were going to give him. How did you feel about that? He was fine. He was, I think he was excited about the pay for sure. That's awesome. Um, I think it was a great move. Yeah. I think that's what we had to do. And, um, freeze up your time too. Yeah. What we, what we need to do now is I waited, f I, I emailed, uh, Mike, Noah and animal afterwards. And I told them, I was like, give me all the individual pieces of content you're doing or going to be doing. And then base them in a category of one, two or three, one being you need someone to edit it for you. Two being you'd want someone, but don't need it. Three being you'll take it on your own. 
So I got the list back from them. Now we just need to get on a call. Me and Scott need to organize a little bit, like figuring out how long it takes to do each individual edit and how we can kind of offsource it to the team of editors. And then once it's then it's like, I mean, look, realistically, like if Scott wants to take a more manager style role, like this is going to be in his hands, you know, exactly. Like yeah. once, once we get on the wanted. first call, yeah. yeah. Once we get on the first call and I'm like, this is how the setup is going to be. And like that, after that, I expect him to kind of take over as a leader for that team, you know, yeah. and like really being like, okay, these are the hours for this. This is how the logistics are going to work. You're going to send it to him and shit like that. You know, I don't really want to be involved in that process anymore unless I, unless I need to be. Um, so yeah, that's kind of where it's at right now. And I feel like this is finally becoming a business. Like, it, I don't know if that's like a slap, but uh, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's not more like a dream anymore. I feel like now you're getting serious about it. Yeah. Um, how do you feel about it? How, how Like. I don't know, dude. There's just been so much happening in the last couple of months that I don't think it's gonna stop. <laughs> like I don't think like don't is know. there like a, I don't think there's an option to stop. No, anymore. I guess not. Um, I don't know. It's I can't. I can't. I, it's very hard for me to look at it like that. I just have to like really take it day by day. Yeah, which can halt me sometimes because yeah. I, you know, if I take it day by day, then I miss I miss some things that are bigger picture, and then if I start to look bigger picture, then I miss the minuscule thing. I don't know, yeah. dude. That's why you have to have the team because yeah. other people see other. My only concern is like the team doesn't always speak up about shit. You know, like I'm left being the leader on my own. No one ever wants to be the bad guy because we've built such a family fucking bond. I'm always left as like the villain of everything. If something goes wrong, you know, yeah. so I need people to step up in that way. Like if someone's like, yo, this content is bad or someone's like, you know, this is he's doing some bullshit over here. Like it can't just be me keeping an eye on everything. So that's the only that's the only thing I worry about sometimes. I think that's where I got to step in. Yeah, but, like, you're not in it with you're not like in our Slack channel, like looking at you. You're not like, yeah, you know, what I mean, like there are things that just happen in the in the content game that just like, you know, yeah. just like, I don't know. No, man. I was thinking also too, like last couple, like, it, like I told you on vacation, I wanted to like think a lot. And then like after I was just like, you know, listening to podcasts and shit. And I was just thinking about myself personally, you know, like, and Heather brought it up on vacation. She's like, like, do you want to do retail forever? And like, I was like for a long time, it's like, yeah, dude, I, I love it. I love the hours and shit. And uh, like, then I started thinking about like, do I, like, do I want to keep doing this? Like, I mean, short term, like I'm saying five years, like, yeah, I could see it. But after that, do I even want to do that anymore? You know, like, like I'm going to, I miss things, you know, like, like small things, you know, yeah. but like, I don't think it's like FOMO anymore. It's just like, damn, man, if I like had a normal job or like a normal thing to do, maybe that could, um, that would, that would be better, you know, so just like more flexibility in your schedule. Exactly. Yeah. Which I don't have, you know, like I just told you, I work like six, I'm about to work six days and then you don't, you don't think by days. working your way up though, even in retail that you can earn that flexibility. I can, but then like at that point, like how, like, I feel like my job will be so serious in a sense of like, then I have like me, like right now I get to like just bullshit still. And like at that point I'm going to have so many things on my plate where the flexibility of time will be there. But like in my personal life, will I have that time? Like, you know, so I'm trying to figure out that. And then, like, you know, we always said it was a dream, like, oh, one day I'll work for you and whatnot. And and then I, like, then we started doing why yelling, started talking about that and thinking about it. And then in one podcast, I don't even remember who it was. It, it kind of, like, resonated after I listened to it, after, like, two other episodes. And they're like, dude, you can, like, say you don't have, like, you don't need to be, like, the entrepreneur. You don't need to be, have a goal. But if you have, like, literally no sense of what you want to do. Like, you're literally going to be treading water in a circle, you know, because, like, there's no outcome. Like, you're not looking for an outcome. You're just saying it's going to lay in your lap. Like, and that's, I feel like I had that mindset for a long time. And then I started thinking, like, dude, if I want to fucking insert myself, I already insert myself in your life. Like, I'm already in your personal life. Mm -hmm. I have to, I think, insert myself a little more in the business life of you. In a sense, like, I don't need to know the fantasy football stuff. I'm not... I'm never going to fucking pick up a book and just fucking learn fantasy football. But I think I need to start inserting myself more in a sense of the team and not just be the sidekick of you just like whispering in your ear. Cause that's just like, that doesn't help anything. You know, I need to like see if they need help, if they need other things, you know? So I was like, I was thinking a lot. I just need, I need to start like, like I, I waste too much time, like watching TV. I waste too much time, like saying I'm tired, you know, like, now I'm like the, since vacation I'm like right, I'm gonna wake up a little early, fifteen minutes earlier this time fifteen minutes earlier this day you know and I'm just trying to like like I said this reset of my like a cleanse and everything I'm just trying to get into a spot where like not being lazy but also like my other time I can now focus maybe more on you and then figure out what the business need on like the back end operationally and then like that's how I insert myself and maybe. At that point, once we're like you're big enough, then I could do that, you know, like, and then I don't need to work retail or I need to do that. So that's what I've been thinking about a lot. So 
I think, like I said, I need to start inserting myself more. I mean, in that's the, everybody, bro. Like everyone, yeah. like I have the platform. It's just a matter of how far you want to take yourself up yeah. the ladder. You know, it's not like it's no, not, yeah. not even on a you personal thing. Like I'm not going to, I'm not, I could bring everyone as far as I possibly can, but yeah. like someone might be, a, someone in the big dog's team, I don't know, might be bigger than me in two years. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. And like at that point. They have what they want to do. Like they, you, you, you go as far as you fucking push yourself. And to go. exactly. And like, I think I was looking at this business, like your business essentially in the wrong way of just like, oh, if I just take care of Nick, it, then I could like figure it out in the end. But it's just like, okay, I'm not part of the fantasy football like thing because I don't do it. I don't, and I, I don't have a passion it's also for like it. A, a rising tide too. Like yeah. you insert yourself and do good shit by yeah. us. It helps all of us. No, you know for sure. I mean? And I think. If I if I ever want a, like a true position here in a sense like you have to make it yeah and I have to figure out what that is and like do I still I I just think this team also just needs not a like a voice of reason but they need like an outside perspective that's inside you know like like I'm almost, not almost a consultant in a sense yeah, yeah, yeah like yeah. I would almost be like I don't need a fucking consultant ever, yeah you know because yeah, yeah, yeah. like that that would be pretty much the role I feel like that yeah. you would be playing. Because it's, right, like, yeah, like, it's yeah. going to be on you to understand the pulse of the company exactly. and like who you need to be talking. And to. that's what I think I'm starting to learn. Like with, you know, I, I talked to them in increments and whatnot. And right. I think at first it was more emotionally like catered to you. And that's not what it should be. And I think it's just like, dude, I've been doing operations and sales and management for what, like six years now. Yeah. Like that dude, that, that, that fucking goes in any company, you know, it's just like how you, like, it's just a different type of fucking sales, operations, management, you know? And then, so that's what I've been thinking about more. And, like, dude, I, like, I love t Tiffany's, and I think I'll be there for a long time. But I'm also willing to take, like, another step in a different direction to be with that company. So then I can focus a little more on here, but just, you know, with the same pay, like, at Tiffany's and just figure it out. So I, that, that, I think that's what I, like, grasped out of, like, vacation and all that shit, just trying to figure it out, you know? Yeah, I think that's the right way to look at it. I think... Like I yeah. said, just you, you, in, in today's world, like if you want a position, if you want something, just outside of big dogs, like you really have to create that shit on your own. You yeah, know? for sure. You have to just do it until it's a real thing. Yeah, that's like any anything, man. I've rated about forty two margaritas in the last two weeks. Yeah, dude. I was couple I, a couple I, of them were good. Couple yeah, the employee, really good. employee employee place employees only. Yeah, yeah dude. Like eight point fucking three or some shit. I gave it. Yeah, it was nice. Yeah, I don't know how you drink margs all the time. I can't do it. Yeah, I can't, can't really do it either. To be honest, I'm starting to realize that now. But it's just, you know what it is? It's like, if we're going out for cocktails, I need to, I need to start with one margarita and then do whatever I need to do. Afterwards. I think it's kind of like, you know, the pizza reviews, like he said, he doesn't eat all the whole pizza. Like you got to like stop ordering marks. No, I need to try it. If, if no, try one. Yeah, if, exactly. I try one. If it's a place that I've been to before and I've done already, I'm not, I probably won't start with the mark. Oh, no. Okay. Yeah. I didn't know. Maybe that. unless I'm in a mark, unless I'm in a marky mood, which is Dude, most I, of the time. I, I'll tell you what, I think Cinco I'm going to go to my, I think I'm, that's going to be a ripper. Yeah. Fuck. It's okay. You better hope I stay in Miami. <laughs> what day is that? The fifth. It's, it's a Wednesday. I'm off too. Because it's the Monday is the third. Monday is the third. Yeah, Tuesday would stay be down there. Day. I probably stay should. down there. Yeah. What's the point of coming back up and hurting my feelings? It wouldn't. It wouldn't. It's not a personal thing. Cinco de Mayo waits for no man. I always pick, honestly, there's no right what day month no, to do not. a fucking cleanse. Do you no. think? It would actually, have been like it honestly, would have been like, honestly, there is. Like January eighteenth to February eighteenth. Yeah, that would have been good. That's like the perfect so time. Literally nothing happens in that. Yeah. I don't think. I think again. There is Super Bowl. Fuck. <laughs> nah. I, there is absolutely none. Because you just have the fucking or if it's not something national, you have some personal shit. So it doesn't fucking matter. Whatever. Do your cleanse and fuck everybody else. Shut up. Just do it right. <laughs> just do it right. I am drinking don't, my fucking tea. How how much you got left? Not like a sip. I was going to say, this is fucking hour long and takes you forever. I don't like tea. <sighs> All right, man. I mean, next time I see you, I don't even know. Like, oh, there's yeah. literally. We might not have an episode next week because I'm leaving for Miami. We might not have it for like three fucking weeks. Nah. You've done this before. Like, you fly somewhere and then you stay. <laughs> and then I get concerned. I, I get. I but there's one thing that always brings you bike. Fuck off. There's one thing that always <laughs> brings you bike. I love y'all. Goodbye. Women. You miss me? No. It's hard for you to answer. Usually, usually no. you're the one asking me that. Yeah, I just went on vacation though. You know, it wasn't like the vice versa. Like I was chilling. Yeah. Like I was having a great old time. So, did you miss me? I did a little bit. There's nice. a lot of a lot of
hectic thing that's going on. I was like, I need someone to fucking. I know. Actually, listen. I need someone. <laughs> I need someone to tell me what my what's going on right now. <laughs> I'm sorry. I've lost my way. Yeah, a lot of things happened in the last fucking my, two my weeks. My fucking back hurts. Yeah. <laughs> Again. You need a, no, it doesn't. Like that hurt. No. Okay. Well, semi. Yeah. It doesn't matter. Yeah. We'll fix it. Nothing, nothing that matters. <laughs> nothing tea can fix. Oh, like tea. Mm-hmm. What does that taste like? It's like mint. I don't know. Peppermint. Is it good? Yeah, it's not bad. It's like chamomile? Uh, no. Chamomile's good. It's like for like nighttime. Yeah. It gets you tired. Fucking you, start. You know any shit about tea? You don't know nothing about tea. No, I just do what they say. You ever drink tea? Like actually? Uh, when Heather makes it for me. You know Sri Lanka has great tea. They're like the number one export in the world. You know why it's export? Because they can get it out of there. They don't have good tea. They go right to They're like, we need Brit- to get this the, shit. The Brits love Sri Lankan tea. That's, That's a fact. What do you like? Why? Why do you? I always wonder. You know, I feel like back in the day when you're in like history class or some shit, you'd always have to like do a weird paper on like a random um, country. Mm-hmm. I feel like every country had the same biggest export. Yeah, like every country is the biggest exporter of coffee, tea, and sugar fucking, cane. And, yeah, and like steel. Yeah, like, not all you guys could just be straight <laughs> exporting. It's kind of like the exponentially <laughs> export. It's kind of like number one movie in America. <laughs> and then the next one, number one <laughs> movie in America. It's like no, you're not. Yeah, America is a motherfucker. 